I know I say this a million times, but I really wish we could get some night vision. Oh! Shit. Talon Company, not good. Run away. Okay, I don't think that's all of them, unless we're in danger by something else. Night vision, yes! Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, sh rat scorpion. Welcome back, everybody. Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands overhaul with the Capital Punishment mod list. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go tackle uh, the Great Itch quest line. Um, before we do that, though, I have stuff in my inventory to make some... Um, I'm going to make some 5.56 armor-piercing rounds, uh, up to 25, and uh, that gets us some more of that ammo. Um, no, exit. Okay, so let's take a look and see how we're doing for that. We have 24 armor piercing rounds for our, our sniper rifle and 34 normal rounds. Um, and then we have, let's say we have 41 357s. We don't need to actually carry 38 specials. In fact, what we could do with those is break them down. Let's do that. Is there anything else while I'm in here that I want to break down? I don't think I want to break anything else down. Now we could... Uh, we could make some more 357 rounds for our cowboy repeater. How many? We can make 13. Yeah, why don't we do that, actually? Uh, there doesn't appear to be armor-piercing 357s, unfortunately. So, Okay, so let's exit out of there. In fact, you know what I think I'm going to do? Um, well, hold on a sec. So we've got, okay, so that gives us 54 357s. We have 42 45s and 82 45 Ps. Lots of 10. A decent amount of 556 five, normal. And some armor piercing. Okay. So, yeah, let's uh, let's just run with that. I think that's a, a pretty good uh, ammo loadout. Now, the kid that we talked to for the Great Itch quest line, uh, if we go to, uh, let's see, if we go to data and quests, those, this, yeah, Brian Wilkes, um, he, he seemed to indicate that there are, were fire ants, uh, in Great Itch, and, and I, I vaguely remember doing that quest before, and, I think we are going to run into fire ants or fire more specifically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this blast master armor, which has plus 20 fire resistance and the arc light helmet. So that'll give us a total of 30 fire resistance and we will wear those, you know, when we, when we go attack those ants. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Uh, we don't need to stop by uh, Megaton for any reason, unless um, one of the caravan traders happened to be out front. I've already cleaned Moira out of everything for now in terms of, you know, ammo and, and other things. So let's just stop, run by there really quick and see if a new trader has shown up. And if not, then we'll make our way to Great Itch. Um, Wolfgang... He was yeah okay it looks like Wolfgang is still there and I've already bought all the ammo from him that I want so okay cool so yeah let's uh let's head on over to Great Itch and see what we can see that should be marked on our map right yeah we're heading we're heading almost directly for it okay I'll meet you guys over there. We have discovered a clothing shop, and we also have a rad scorpion chasing us. Um, let's go inside of here just to get rid of that rad scorpion for now. I mean, I could kill him, but I need 
I, I don't want to waste armor piercing on him as a thing. I'm assuming that dangers from the scorpion. I what just happened? I don't know. I don't know if uh, this is a vanilla place or if it is a world of pain add-on or something else. Let's see. Let's get normal 45s. If this is something else, I'm not going to... I don't want to spend a lot of time here. We can always come back and do it later. Uh, but we'll take a quick look. Only because I've got... What is all that shit on the wall over there? You know, we got that extra armor for the fire, and I don't want to carry that around if we're not going to actually use it. I know I say this a million times, but I really wish we could get some night vision. So I don't have to always keep the light on because it screws up our stealth. We'll take that whiskey bottle and that whiskey bottle. Oh, that's just... Okay. That's just a chipped out rock. Gotcha. That's uh, not supposed to be that way. All right. Yeah, this this might be more involved than what I want to do. So let, let's just stay focused and get to... Uh, there's Ooh, there's a combat helmet. Is it in good shape? It's in reasonably good shape. We'll hang on to it for now. Okay, hopefully that scorpion's not still out here. Oh, it is, but it's it's leaving us alone. Okay, so let's just... Oh, shit. He's coming after us again. Okay. Cooper's Hotel. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Let's just keep working our way towards Great Itch here. I think he's going to bugger off now. What is... What is this place? Some kind of big industrial looking building. Sewer way station. Oh. Is this the that place that we crawled out of the sewer a couple episodes ago and had like a rad scorpion inside of it? I see rad roaches. Uh let's let's grab this wrench. When we get a uh, high enough level in repair, we'll be able to use that for making weapon repair kits. Yeah, see that manhole cover there? That's where, and yet there is a, oh shit, there's a rad scorpion in here. Okay. Oh, shit! Talon Company, not good. Run away. All right, all right. These guys hurt big time. Um, so, we're going to use... We're going to use our carbine with... our. I have 35 uh, 5.56 five, rounds. It's not a lot. We're going to have to really try and get headshots. Oh, man. These guys scare the hell out of me. I'm not going to lie. Let's do an antiseptic. What does an ultra stim do? I don't know what it does, but we're going to... I mean, it does a lot of shit. 
We're going to take one of those. We're going to do a Hydra. And then... Well, no, that's for diseases. What does this do? Damage resistance. Less... Uh, what does Med-X do? That gives us damage resistance. Okay, we're probably going to get addicted, but we need to survive this because I'd rather be addicted than dead. Okay. Shit. These guys don't fuck around, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh... Let's do a combat stim. I don't know what that just said. And a med kit. Med kits cannot be used in combat. Okay. Okay. I don't think that's all of them. Unless we're in danger by something else. Night vision! Yes! Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, shit. Rat scorpion. We have another Talon Merc after us, too. Oh, he's... Okay, he's fighting the scorpion. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch to this, and we're going to get our armor piercing rounds. Oh, man, this was worth it, you guys. We got night vision. Okay, let them duke it out, and then I'll just take out whoever's left with our, my armor piercing rounds. Oh, the scorpion got him! Nice! Good job, Scorp. I would let you live if you wouldn't attack me, but there's no way to reason with scorpions, in case you guys didn't know that. So I killed two of the mercs. Um, I don't know if... Um, I don't know if there... Uh, and then that, you know, the scorpion killed the third one. I don't know if there were more than three. But, again, that just illustrates why it's so important that we have armor-piercing ammo. Instamash. Okay, where did that scorpion go? He's down there. Good God, that guy's tough. Okay, he's only got one hit left. Scary. All right, we still have a caution. Why do we have a caution? What's going on? We have... We're almost dead. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad I just noticed that. Um, all right, let's do a... Uh, oh, I guess we're still in combat. Antiseptic, bandage... Uh, let's do a couple of normal stim packs. Did we manage to not get addicted at all? I don't... I don't think that scorpion hit us... But if it did, we would need anti-venom. Uh, okay, no, we're healing back up. It didn't look like it hit us. Oh my god, that was intense, you guys. That was really intense.
Here, I'm gonna go back and make sure we looted all these guys. Yeah, we didn't loot this guy. Okay, let's do a quick save right here. I think we're okay now. Wow, that was seriously intense. I'd kind of like to go back into the sewer here and maybe see if we can kill that scorpion with some explosives. Because it looked like there was some decent stuff to loot in there. But, no, you know what? We're getting sidetracked. Except for the problem is now we're five pounds away from being over encumbered. Okay, that's that has a terrible value to weight ratio, so we're ditching that. This one's not bad, though. That one has a terrible value to weight ratio, so we're ditching that. That one's terrible... Not bad. Okay. Terrible. Oh, <laughs> night fishing goggles. I love it. I've been complaining about that for so long now. Okay, let's look at weapons. Um, that has a decent value to weight ratio. It's a security assault rifle. Let's actually look at that for a second. Uh, I don't like the way the hand... Yeah, that's kind of position is kind of screwed up on that. But it's got a decent value to weight ratio, so we'll we'll hang on to it at least for now. Um decent value to weight, okay value to weight. Okay, well that gives us um a fair amount of weight back so just trying to decide if I do I want to go in here okay here's what we could do we could go in here now just loot the place and then I could I could run back home and drop everything off and then meet you guys back over here because it's not that far away I think that's what we'll do but we need to kill this rad scorpion so I'm thinking explosives uh, we know they're pretty impervious to fire. So we could start by setting down a frag mine and maybe also using a frag grenade. Oh, also, here, let's do this. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have to repair these. How do I... Okay, how do I enable night vision? Or are they completely broken? Um, okay, if I hold tab down, that just turns my pit boy light on. Well, here, let's get this down first. I don't know if the rad roaches can set the frag grenades off or not. Okay, is he coming up here? He is. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Well, I know we damaged him with those. Yeah, look at all the loot in here. Oh, shit, he's right there. Ouch. Splint and leg. Actually, let's save our 45 ammo. We'll just use the 10 millimeter for rad roach kills. We got the we got that scorp though, right? I think so. Um, I'd like to figure out how to use these night vision goggles. 
Okay, it's the in key. Nice. So this must be like thermal. Oh, wow. There's a lot of screen uh, motion blur on that. This must be like thermal vision, and this is normal night vision. Okay, this is going to be fun. It's going to be immersive, too. However, for the time being, I don't think we need them now. And I will get them repaired, too, of course, so we don't have the broken glass. So let's just go back to our normal... Uh... Oh, this doesn't take the place of our helmet. Interesting. Yeah, and we'll just use our normal light. Okay. We'll just kill these little bastards. But yeah, this this is the sewers that we came out of the other day when we were oh, it's repopped. When we were looking for um the water filter things. Kill him for some XP. We're not we're not gonna crawl through this sewer again though. I just thought I'd kill him for the hell of it. And hey, look, we got a military bandage for our trouble. That was worth it. Okay, so that goes back outside. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm just gonna loot stuff in here. And take it back to the to the base, along with all the stuff that we got, you know, from the Talon Mercs attacking us. Whiskey, teddy bear. The hell's up with the teddy bears? That one's got a pack of cigarettes, some medex, and a vodka. This one has a Chinese pistol and a frag grenade. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. That's interesting. Why there are teddy bears in a sewage maintenance plant? It's anybody's guess. Got a nuka. Don't think I'll take the milk bottles. Sugar bombs, pork and beans. Yeah, I guess I'll take this stuff just to sell. I'm certainly not going to eat it. A chessboard. Note to Ralph regarding valves. Ralph, I have I have to leave early to pick up Dylan. His school called and said he's running a temperature. I'm leaving a note for you as I probably won't see you before next week. The high pressure valves you ordered came in today. Larry offered to take them and install them, but he got called away on another job. He said he'd try to get back to the install if he finishes his first repair, but if not, he put them safely on top shelves in the storage closet down in the county sewer mainline, the one nearest to here, not the one near the Potomac, Potomac outflow. If I don't see you before you're gone for the day, have a good week, Joseph. Okay, so apparently I kind of did that quest bass backwards. We went in the back way. Had we come in this way, we would have seen that note to give us a clue to where the valves were. But I mean, we we figured that all out anyway when it was all said and done, so it's all good. I don't know what I just flipped over there. Take all that stuff. Potato crisps, turpentine. Two duct tape, that's good. Alright, 
right, where does this go? Oh, that goes to Great Itch. Okay. Well, no, I think... Why are we so stuttery? I think Great Itch is just this whole area. That's just a back door. Right, okay. All right, guys, um, I'm going to I'm gonna run back to, well, I guess I'm going to walk back home and get rid of all this stuff, get situated, and then I'll meet you back here in Great Itch, and we'll continue the Great Itch quest. That's got a terrible weight-to-value ratio, and I think I already have a couple of those anyways. All right, guys, we are back here in Great Itch, and let's go ahead and switch to this fire resistant armor yeah that really obstructs our vision huh um all right maybe let's just try let's just try the armor for now and we'll see how much damage we take from the fire you have discovered great itch okay so I think that kid What's is hiding. Funny suction hose for. Hiding out in here. Hey, what is it, Mister? Um, where's your house? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. Okay. Uh, we already know what happened. So, all right, I'll be back after I deal with the issue. Be careful, or those things might get you. Get ya. Gotcha. Get you. Gotcha. Okay. You stay there, be safe. Hopefully he's got air inside of there. It's occupied. Pulawaski uh, Preservation Services? Can you imagine though? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Even if this shelter protected you from the initial blast, it would like come- huh. Stupid monsters. Please. Can't get me in here. You put like a quarter in there. Oh, that's funny. Exact change only. You'd still like roast from the heat, you know. Um, I, I, it's I know it's just a video game. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, all right. So, we what do we have a specific objective here? I know. I mean, uh, generally speaking, we got to deal with the issue, right? Oh, we got to look for his father. Okay. So he said. The house was next to a billboard and close to the diner. Well, there's the diner right there, but I don't see a house close to here. Unless he's talking about this place. Not much of a house. Uh, door to recently built shack. All right, that's not going to work. So I guess we'll go this way. Oh, here it is, right here. Uh, everything is dead in here. Ooh, that thing looks mean. Sh uh, yeah, let's take the shack key. I mean, that outfit's in pretty good shape, actually. Take all of that stuff. A laser rifle. Five, five, six rounds. That's what we like. We're all about the five, five, six rounds. Take all of that stuff. Don't really see anything else in here. Particularly valuable. Pre-war money. All right, let's go take a peek in the bathroom and we'll go upstairs. 32 rounds, 32 rounds, 32 pistol. Uh, camera, eh, it's kinda, kinda heavy.
All right, so I guess we go back and tell Brian his dad succumbed to the ants. That's kind of sad. It's kind of hard to breathe in this thing. That's what I was wondering. Do you have air in there, dude? I hope you have good news for me. I don't. I really do. I'm sorry. Come on, tell me already. I think I have some bad news for you. Oh no. What happened? Your old man is ant food. Brian, I'm sorry, but your dad's dead. He's... He's dead? Yeah. He is. Looks like he got into a tussle with some fire ants and they got the better of him. But if it makes any difference, he killed the ants too. It doesn't make any difference to him. <laughs> Poor kid. I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. Yeah, I, I understand. Okay. Why don't you just forget about it? Yeah, just forget that your dad died. The only guy that ever took care of you in the whole wasteland died and clear out. Yeah. Uh, now, let's... Um, yes, I promise you I will stop whatever started this. I know it won't bring your dad back, but it's the least I can do. You gotta stop it so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I agree. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Mm, I don't know. If your dad hung around me, he probably wouldn't be still alive. <laughs> but I, I I get the sentiment. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Okay. Um, Why is this an option? Let's just remove the source of the fires. It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to D.C. Didn't I already ask him this? There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Did you know others in town very well? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The D.C. ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. Yeah, probably not. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Who else lived in Great Itch? Um, besides me and my Papa, there was... Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, oh, a and doctor. Will Brandis, and his mama and papa, too. Always nice to find another doctor if he's still alive. I guess they're all gone now. Oh, maybe not. Uh, okay. All right. Um, might have asked you about some of the people who lived here. Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the doc. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Hmm, okay. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Uh, where did he stay? He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Okay, I know where that's Every at. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny-looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. Okay, called the computer. Um, do you have any idea what he was doing? Nah. He was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. Hmm. Okay. Uh, did Dr. Lesko have any weird stuff in his place? I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Doohickeys? Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Okay. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. Robot? Um, what about the other people? Yeah? What about the Brandis family? Well, there is Will. He was sort of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Where did they live? Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. Okay. Uh, so you and Will were friends? Yeah. Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. Sounds like a stand-up guy. We explored pretty much every bit of Great Itch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. Okay. How about Will's parents? Well, his mom was nice, too. She was kind of quiet, but she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. Okay. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Yeah? Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean... But he was kind of scary. Scary? How so? He was like 
always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. Okay. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Hmm. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so you stay here. I'll deal with the ants and I'll let you know when it's safe. If you look around enough in Great Itch, you might find some useful stuff people left behind. Oh, don't worry. We'll be looking around. That's what we do. Okay, you stay here. Um, make sure you open the door if you run out of air. <laughs> okay. So, um, the, he said the, the other folks lived right across the... Oh, shit, there's an ant over there. All right, let's let's deal with the ants. What should we? We could. Let's use the repeater on them, cowboy repeater. We are wearing the blastmaster armor with the fire resistance. Okay. Can we go into here? This place is completely gutted. Well, at least on the ground floor it is. Nope, nothing here. Okay. Oh. We have the key to this shack. Let's go take a quick look in here. Dr. Lesko's password recording. That's probably going to come in handy. Ooh, a doctor's bag. Take that. Suitcase, bottle cap. So he obviously has a Protectron. I have a hot plate. Let's take all that stuff for now. We can always dump it if it gets too heavy. Um, all right, so we have the password. Science robot's not there. Science robot is not there. Personal notes. Okay. Uh, let's do this one first so it's in chronological order. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I've heard the rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, however, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to their original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic recoding is this possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. My search continues as I tweak the formula. Sample location discovered. I found the perfect specimen for my experiments inside the Marigold Station. I've set up shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last minute programming on my robot and it will be ready to perform the delicate injections. Soon I will prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the destruction of these misunderstood beings. Where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is a complete failure. I must return to my original formulas and begin the process all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions without proper laboratory equipment is to blame. Is to blame. Perhaps I simply didn't splice the correct genetic instructions, or perhaps I am fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula soon, or I may not be alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. Okay, so apparently he's screwing with, I guess, the ant DNA, and I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume he's responsible for fire-breathing ants. He's not responsible for their giant size, because that's the effect of radiation, but the fire breathing part sounds to me like maybe that's his fault. Okay, we already went in there. Is there anything in here? Yes, there is. Let's try this house here. Brandis house. We'll take the cigarettes. Uh, yeah, what the hell. We'll take the camera.
Take all of that stuff. There we go. Nice. Go check the kitchen. Turpentine. Couple of bottle caps. Turn that off. Just in case uh, it's got copyrighted music on it. This is a hard lock for William Brandis's footlocker. All right, we're not going to be opening that. We will take the frag grenade, though. And the duct tape and the wrench, not the tin can. We don't have enough science to unlock William Brandis's TV box. So I guess we'll never really be able to find out, unless we came back here a long time later, what Brandis was up to. But he was a suspicious individual and an ex-military guy. All right. Let's uh, keep looking around here. This looks like another uh, just kind of completely gutted building here, so... Fire ant meat. This is an abandoned home. Nine mil rounds. Guns and bullets. Oh, weapon repair kit. We love a weapon repair kits. Yes, we do. And a 10 millimeter pistol. All of the meds, a box of detergent, some Abraxo. Buff out. Let's go upstairs. Take all of that stuff. Pre-war money, medics. Can't quite get to those other items in there. Okay, what if we do this? That worked. What is this magazine? Permanent plus two to guns. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Okay, that's all that's in here. Oh, shit. Jesus, how tough are these guys? Well, that was a soldier ant. No wonder he was so hard to kill. Fire ant nectar. Okay. Is this... Yeah, this is a different abandoned home. Cigarettes mintats. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, we... Uh, we already came in here, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. Just missed the cigarettes and the mint tents. All right. Is there anything going on in here besides another fire ant? Need it to turn its head this way so I can get a good headshot. Have a caution. 
That's another soldier. Those guys are tough, man. Oh, right there. Critical strike on fire ant soldier's head. There's another one over that way. Oh, there's a big ass rad scorpion there. Oh, shit, he moves fast. Okay. Guess he can't fit his fat ass through that door. Good, good for us, right? Okay, let's grab one of these. Oh, that barely scratched him. Where'd he go? I think he tried to go around to get us. Oh no, he's right there. Shit. There's something right there? I don't think so. Steps down here. It's another ant. Is that a soldier ant or an ant ant? That's just a worker ant. Okay. Did we loot this guy over here? My light's on, right? No, it's not. I think we did. All right, I don't know where that scorpion went. Door to the McBritish Institute. All right, I'm not so sure that's where we need to go. Let's go this direction. Because I think then the Dr. Lesko log say something about him going underground. Manhole to Great Itch Sewer. I'll bet you that's where we need to go. Okay. Before we do that, though, I just kind of want to make sure I've explored the rest of the upper area here. All right, there's a... I don't know if that's a soldier or just a worker. Jeez, those guys are tough. Oh, he's a warrior. Yeah. Fucking scorpion. Okay, well, let's kill this guy. Okay, we got him. Yeah, come up here, dude. Oh, shit.
can't believe how fast those fuckers are. Okay. Oh, he's on me already. Um. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Don't hit escape. Hit tab and run. I don't have enough action points to get away from him. Here, go up here. Okay, where'd he go? He's way over there. Okay, let's grab uh, a frag. You, I think, are just a normal... Yeah, you're just a normal worker. That's a warrior, too. Those suckers are tough. Okay. Oh, no, we did a crash. Shit. Oh, man, we've actually done really well. In the last few episodes without crashing since I changed the frame rate, but it's still going to happen every once in a while. Um, geez, I don't even remember the last time I saved. All right, so yep, this is the last point at which I saved when we came back out of that house again. So I'll try to remember to hit that quick save button a little more frequently. Um, so we had, uh, there was a warrior ant in that park over there. Is he, is he back over there again? I don't see him. Unless this is a different playground. That was just a worker ant. Okay. We have a caution. No loot. What the hell? Okay, that's a soldier. I don't want to use my armor piercing on him, though. Yeah, he's down. Let's just use normal 308s. Yeah, I'm in danger. Not sure exactly from where. Oh, here we go. He was just getting ready to come up on the bridge here. Was it that guy? Alright, let's let's lay down a frag mine. And we'll get kind of back up this way. Nope. Fuck off that. had me in like slow-mo mode. No, come this way, dude. That's a big fucking ant. That's a warrior ant. 
I guess he doesn't seem to have a pathway up this direction. Where's my frag at? It's right there. Okay. I want to get him to come back this direction. Well, here, we might as well pick this up. Where did he go? Ooh. I didn't kill him. I don't... I don't think we killed that guy. Something else killed it. Ant went. There, uh, is that that ant's dead, right? Marigold Station. The note said something about Marigold Station. All right, I bet you that's where we're actually supposed to go. Oh, there's that warrior ant down there, or at least a warrior ant. That didn't kill you? <laughs> Unbelievable how tough these things are. Okay. So I think that Marigold Station is actually where we need to go. We already went through uh, those other buildings. We can't get into that building at all. Uh, where's that coming from? Here, let's go ahead and put these on. Uh, oh, it's a rat scorpion, but it's not a big one. So hard to kill these guys. Okay, we have a caution. I did get these repaired a little bit, so they're not as bad as they were. One of those uh, iBot thingies. I'm guessing this is probably the border of Great Itch, and then that goes into DC proper. combat music. I just don't know where it's coming from. It's another small scorpion. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I think we've done a reasonably good job of covering the outside. Um, 
My guess is that that sewer... Did we go in here? Okay, these are almost too bright to be wearing in here. I don't think we went in this house. I want wrenches for weapon repair kits. An egg timer. Thirty two rifle. Stimpex. Carton of smokes. Um, are we tired at all? Not really. Kind of thirsty. I didn't really bring anything with me to drink. I don't really want to drink the alcohol because we might get addicted to it. All right. So we can either go in the Marigold Station or we can go in the sewers, which probably is just a back way into Marigold would be my guess. You, you're dead, right? Okay. So yeah, let's just go through Marigold Station. Seems to me like that's the way we should be going. Am I encumbered? Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, let's see. This has not really a very good value to weight ratio, and it's two pounds. Let's get rid of it. Um, I don't know if we're going to run into fire ants down below, but I'm going to put my normal armor on for the moment. That's a 12-3 value. That's 11. This is a terrible value to weight ratio, so we get rid of that. That's not really all that great either, so I think we'll get rid of that. That one's not bad. Um, let's get rid of the new Coca-Cola truck, and we'll, we'll go with that for now. Oh, Jesus, it's bright in here. Oh, yep, there's definitely ants down here. Okay, knowing that, we better put this armor back on. Wait, did I just loot a Nuka Cola truck again? No, I guess not. Okay, we're going to go with night vision so I can keep my light off. Take that, we'll leave the Yeah, we'll leave the Blast Master armor. It's not in very good shape. Why don't we also use our for just the basic ants, let's use the 10 mil pistol and save our 45 ammo. Let's go check this side room here. Okay. 
Weapon repair kit. That's what we like. We like duct tape too. Who doesn't like duct tape in a survival game? A mine box. I'll take it. Ooh, five frag mines. Two mines in the locked box, five mines in the unlocked box. Go figure. I think we better stay away from that thing. Might give us a shocking experience. That's a soldier. We didn't take too much fire damage from that. Thanks to this armor, probably. And the fact that we were just barely on the outside edge of the flame, I think. Alright, we're overweight once again. Let's take a look at crafting ingredients. Terrible value to weight ra uh, no. The detergent. The Ab Abraxo isn't as bad. Uh, where did it go? Oh, right here. That's not terrible. That's terrible. I'm not throwing out duct tape no matter what. That's terrible. That's really good. Those are terrible. Eh, not so good. Cigarettes are always good. That's pretty good. Turpentine. Wrench. It got us down to 269. Don't have any clothing that I want to throw out. That's 12-3. 11-5. All right, let's just go with this for a bit. So it looks like we have gas here. We don't want to fire our weapon with gas fumes about. Not going to take the Kniffy. Nor the lawnmower blade. We got like a bazillion of those when we went to the minefield. Alright, this is probably a good place for a quick save. 